situation that you brought here this morning. I don't know that case, that thing that is troubling your heart. I don't know that situation that is been making you to cry day and night. Even some you could not tell people. In your bedroom you'll be crying. In your offices even you will go to the toilet and begin to cry. When you're supposed to be walking. Sometimes you will just wish that you will die. You just wish that I just want to end it all. I am tired. I want to die. I want to go up. God, Lord, if you cannot do this thing, just kill me. Just help me. You have been praying. You have been crying. That is your folly. That is your merry clay. Just tell God, Lord, I am tired. Today, today, today. Put an end to this situation. I am tired. Put an end to it today. I don't want to cry over it again. I want this situation to become a testimony. I want to come before the children of God and testify. See what the Lord has done for me. Begin to tell him, say, Lord, I am tired of this situation. You have come to the God of signs and wonders. Anywhere he goes, he's always doing good. Anything he does is perfect. If we have told you that he's here today, because this is the month of signs and wonders, the God of signs and wonders want to turn down your cry, your problem, to signs and wonders. He wants to turn it to laughter. He wants you to know him. He's the one that makes the, use the rod of Moses, ordinary rod, to part the sea and to do many wonders. He's the God of signs and wonders. And he's here in our midst today. Father, we thank you, Lord. Because you have come to turn our, around our situations, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because we, we have told you that we are tired. And I know you are in your midst today to do mighty miracles. To turn our situations around. To do signs and wonders. In Jesus' mighty name, we have asked. My Lord and my God, we have come before you because you have told us that this month you want to do signs and wonders. Father, we pray, Lord Almighty, that we have spoken to you. As our faces differ, so our problems. Father Almighty, everyone that has spoken to you concerning one thing or the other today, Father, turn them to testimonies in the name of Jesus. Father, turn our life around and rename us signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Let people say that family, their names are signs and wonders. Let people say that man, that woman, our name, his name is signs and wonders. That people will begin to testify of what good things you have done in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you have done it again. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you know, and you know, and you are very sure that you ask for signs and wonders, shout a big hallelujah. I'm not convinced. I don't know whether God is convinced. I said, if you know, and you have assurance. You know, it has been written that this month, heaven has stamped it that you'll be for signs and wonders. But it takes one person or two or three or ten to say, I grab it. If you know that you are for signs and wonders, jump on your feet and grab it. I grab it. Say, I grab it. I grab my hole. I collect my hole. I collect my hole. I collect my signs and wonders. I collect my miracles. You will collect your hole. And the one you are collected, the devil will not snatch it for you. The devil will not snatch it for me. And it shall be permanent. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Greet your neighbor and say, how are you? I know you are for signs and wonders. As you have your seat. God bless you. This morning, we're going to talk about signs and wonders, our divine mandates. Signs and wonders, our divine mandates. What does it mean? Which means that 
signs and wonders our children's meet. God has already given it to us in his word. That was why I said that you should jump and grab it. It has been, it's, it's been proclaimed. It has been given, but it's left for you to grab it, to claim it. Praise the Lord. It's just that when you want to travel abroad and they tell you that your visa is ready and you do not leave your house, you now say, I have a visa. Can you travel abroad? Can you travel abroad? Some people say yes, without visa. Your visa is still there. They, they called you that your visa is ready. You should come and claim it. You refuse to claim it. You say, I'll be issued visa. And you went to the airport. I'm going abroad. I'll be issued visa. You didn't claim it. You have to go to the visa uh, uh, embassy and claim it and collect your visa. Is it not true? Or if it is a passport, international passport, they've done everything they need to do. It's there in their file. But if you do not go to collect it, it's not yet your home. But that does not mean you have not been issued. Praise the Lord. A lot of us, God has issued our miracles. Because this is the month of signs and wonders. And he cannot deny himself. He's not a man that will lie. Neither is he the son of man that will repent. Has he said what he will not do? No. He said you are for signs and wonders. If you don't get your signs and wonders this month, it is your fault. God can never be at fault. Whatever we are going through, I have prayed, I have tried. It is not God's fault. Oh. If you are still where you are, it's your fault. He has proclaimed it. It has been written. He said he respects his word more than his name. If he says it's signs and wonders, people will be testifying of signs and wonders. If you don't claim your own, you will be there. Maybe next month. I don't know the topic. But you will not have carry over in Jesus' name. I will not carry over my miracle in Jesus' name. And you will not carry over your home. Because this month, every blessing that God has programmed for you this month, you will get them in Jesus' name. We're talking about signs and wonders are our divine mandate. It's our heavenly right. But we need to claim it. You need to claim it. Isaiah 8 verse 18 tells us, Behold, sorry, that's our test. Behold, Isaiah 8 verse 18, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for what? Times and wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts which dwelleth in Zion. Which means that, I will read it again. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and wonders. Which means that myself and my entire family, we are for signs and wonders. And it says, in Israel from the Lord of hosts. Who is it from? Where is your miracle going to come from? From your uncle, your sister, the president, Obama. Ah, Obama is no more the president of America. <laughs> Biden. <laughs> Where is your help coming from? From God. It's your mandate. It, ha it has been written. God has stamped it. It's with the angels. And the angels are here. Can I hear a man from somebody? The angels are where? They are already here. All you need to do is receive it by faith. He said, in Israel from the Lord of hosts, which means that it is from God that dwells in Mount Zion. How can I manifest signs and wonders? How? The first thing is you should purge yourself. Do what? Purge yourself. Mary in the book of Luke, verse, Luke 1 verse 35 says, the angel said, and the angels answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also the only thing, only thing, take note, only thing, can I hear you say, only thing, which shall be born of thee shall be called what? The Son of God. Who is that only thing? What is that only thing? 
Who is that holy thing? Oh, say it loud now. You are afraid. Jesus is that holy thing. He said the holy thing. The only thing we shall be born of thee. We should that that only thing that will be born of that woman is what? Jesus. And for Jesus, to bring, for God to put that only thing somewhere, it must be an holy thing. He will put an holy thing in an holy thing. I say it again. He will put an holy thing in a holy thing. You are expecting miracles, signs and wonders. Are you an holy thing? He will put an holy thing in an holy thing. Because we've been told that you cannot put, no man puts an old, uh, a new wine in a old, in a old bottle. You don't put a new wine in an old bottle or in a dirty bottle. If I bring a bottle here now and you can see inside that this is dirty and I pour water and I call it holy water. This is an holy water from the Lord. And you can see poo-poo, death inside the thing. I say, eh, it's an holy water. I pour it inside. I say, come and drink. Will you drink? The same thing with God. We will put an holy thing. It's written there. It's not me. He said, also the holy thing, we shall shall born. And we've been told that this lady is a virgin. Some people will say, being a virgin is, is old style. It's a lie. It's only sinners that will say that. Being a virgin is God's standard. They say it's old style. It's not old style. It's God's standard. Praise the Lord. When God wants to bring an holy thing, his son into the world, to bring signs and wonders to you and I, he did not look for a defiled thing. He looked for an holy thing. Apology. But there's something I tell people. Even if you have committed a lot of sin and you surrender your life to Jesus, you are an holy thing. Praise the Lord. If you are what? If you are a sinner and suddenly you realize your sin, and you give your life to Jesus, you become what? An holy thing. God can use you for wonders. And God can perform his signs and wonders in your life. That's when you turn yourself to an holy thing. That's when you surrender to Jesus. Praise the Lord. Then number two, consecrate yourself. For you to manifest signs and wonders, you must do what? Consecrate yourself to the Lord. Acts 2 verse 21 to 22. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let me just leave it at 20, 21. And it came to pass, it come to pass, it shall come to pass, that whosoever shall do what? Shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Pastor was telling us in the first service that how many of us prayed one hour this morning? A lot of people don't pray. You come to church, you go and line up, line up at pastor's office. Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, see my problem. Are you not born again? If you are not born again, you must surrender your life today. If you surrender your life, see, you don't need anybody to pray for you. You can kneel down and God will answer you. I'm telling you the truth. He answers prayer. He hears you. He's here with you. If you talk to him now, he will answer. Praise the Lord. A lot of us, we don't pray. Consecrate your life. You know, separate yourself from the things of the world. Those things that defile you. Why you need a prophet or somebody to come and pray and see your future? It's because you are not living right. Apology to single sisters and brothers. I told people, when I want to marry, I didn't go to anybody to pray for me. I prayed in my house. And God showed me. I prayed in my house. I did not go to any man of God 
stay. Uh, in, in fact, the, the highest I did was when I had one dream that uh, I saw one uh, bed with coconut under. I went to my pastor. My pastor said, eh, coconuts under a bed. A single distinct bed. He said, whoa, go and look for a room in your father's house. God wants you to pray. Lock yourself up and begin to pray. I said, what I was thinking, he will say, hey, hey, ah, your husband is from Badagri. After all, I saw coconut under the bed, a single bed. I was thinking in my brain that, ah, once I go to my pastor, I've seen vision. I saw coconut on that bed. That you are going to marry the man from Badagri. He said, hey, coconut under your bed. Ha, ah, under the bed, okay. You know what you do? Take a room in your father's house. Lock yourself up and begin to pray. I said, oh, God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I didn't go to anybody. I will lock myself up. I, I don't understand what he was saying. Me too, I lock myself up. Morning, afternoon, night, I'll be praying. In fact, I will tie something, one rope. I've said it here. I'll be jumping from the rope. I will say, I leave my father's house. I will go under the... Under the <laughs> a stupid thing. I will tie rope at the entrance of my, uh, my room. And I will go under the rope and he say, this is how I will leave my father's house. Or sometimes I will open the thing, I will go out, I will say, this is how I will leave my father's house. I will be praying stupid prayer. Sometimes 1 a.m. in the midnight. I didn't know God was listening. I was just doing it. Consecrate yourself. Separate yourself unto God. Pray. Except you are not living holy. The only thing that will separate you from these signs and wonders is your sin. Praise the Lord. Then be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with what? But not. You cannot be filled with the Holy Spirit if you are not living right. You're always fighting with your, with, with, your, with your husband, with your wife, with friends, with people. You have grudge in your heart. You keep people in your mind. You keep malice. You do wrong things. The Holy Spirit cannot fill a dirty vessel. If you are dirty, you may not be, you may not have the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Because the Bible says in the book of Acts 2, verse 1 to 4, it said, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one place, in one accord, in one accord, in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appear unto them cloven tongues like a fire like fire and it sat on them and they were all filled with the holy ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterances fire the fire the fire of God fell upon their head and they begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. They carried power, anointing, favor, the presence of God. Praise the Lord. If you look at Acts 5 verse 12, it says, And the hand of the apostles when, and by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. Why were they able to perform signs and wonders? Because they were carrying power. Then you should fast often. Fast and pray often. Used to fast, shout hallelujah. It's not even half of the church. Used to fast, shout hallelujah. When you fast, it will become signs and wonders. When you fast often, you remove flesh. Now it's no more you. It is now God that takes over. God takes over your tongue, your action. Do you notice that when you are fasting, sometimes you avoid some things that you feel will defile you. That is the time you will pray and God will answer. Because you are starting avoiding things that will make God to look away from you. Let's fast if you want signs and wonders. And let's be obedient to divine instruction. There are some things God told you. Do this, don't do them. They obey divine instructions. Many things God has asked you to do, you do not do it. Maybe we, 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 I think I've had pastor said it that there is a man that God told to go and be 
frying um, granules with honey. You may think this is silly. But in the White House, that's what they eat now. And there was one person, one woman, I know it. My husband told her that God said it should be frying, it should be doing egg. He said, egg will break. Oh, he didn't do it. Today she's still in poverty. But the other guy that they said, she said, he said he dreams that he was selling women wears, women underwear. You can imagine a man selling on this for women. You'll be feeling ashamed. But today, the man has more than how many shops at Janiki? I know him personally, and he imports most of them. He's no more only selling on that wears now because I that I used to buy from his shop. He sells shoes, women's shoes, women this thing, women anything. God has lifted him so high. Oyibo is this very fair brother. I used to call him Oyibo. Today, God has lifted him. God will lift you up in Jesus' name. And God will help you to obey his divine orders. What do you need to manifest signs and wonders? You need the blood of Jesus for cleansing and purification. You need what? The blood of Jesus for cleansing and for purification. Because without the blood of Jesus, if you, do, if you are not washed, you may not experience signs and wonders. Because he will not put his miracle inside a dirty bottle. Then you need the anointed name of Jesus. Let somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. Jesus. Okay, let's say it seven times. Jesus. 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 And the final one. Jesus. Jesus. He said we need the anointed name of Jesus. Sometimes when you need signs and wonders, sometimes out of fear you call Jesus and he answers. Is it not true? Sometimes you are in trouble. You don't even know what to do. At that point, just say, Jesus! Something will just happen. The name, the name of Jesus. I had no name. <laughs> it is not an ordinary name. Is a land that's full of power and grace. The name, the name, the name of Jesus. It's higher than any other name. It is not an ordinary name. You need that 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 name. You need him in your life. Without him, other people will testify of signs and wonders. And you'll be washing them. You'll be clapping for them. You will not clap for people in Jesus' name. They will clap for you. Because God is going to perform signs and wonders in your life. And finally... You need the infilling of the Holy Ghost. You need the infilling of what? The Holy Ghost. If you have the Holy Ghost in you and it's, it fills your heart, you will see that it will be easy for you to pray and it will hear you. Feel with the Holy Ghost. When you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you yourself, you, you will know you are no more ordinary. You are now supernatural. You want to be supernatural, shout hallelujah. You are no more ordinary when you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Demon will stand up in front of you and say, mama, robot shake, mama. Demon will say, hey, 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 continue to level here. Kilo de, we have not reached that level. What are you speaking? You are speaking in an unknown tongue. Nobody can understand you. You may be saying your head should come off. You say, uh -huh, be careful. You need the infilling of what? You need the infilling of what? Holy God needs to renew your mind. If you have Jesus, 
it will renew your mind. Let us stand on our feet. Because some of us, God wants to change our situation. So I want to turn around our cases. Just like he did in the book of Acts 3, verse 8 to 9. He said, and the man stood up, walked, and entered into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. How many of you want to praise God? You want to praise God before the end of today? Shout hallelujah. You want to praise God before the end of this month? Shout hallelujah. He said he was leaping. Walking and praising God because of what God has done a great, he's no more a lame man, he's now walking. Praise the Lord! Just lift up your hands and begin to appreciate Him because God wants to do signs and wonders in your life. You will no more be lame, you will begin to walk, leap, and begin to praise God. Close your eyes as we begin to worship Him. Tell him, Lord, I don't want to be lame again. I don't want to be in the situation I used to be before. I want you to cleanse me by your purification of blood so that I will not be who I used to be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Before we pray, because some people are going to receive sign and wonder today. God wants to settle some people's matter this morning. But it can only attend to people that are clean vessels. You are here. You want to say, I am your own. I am your own. Till the day that you will come. Jesus, I am your own. I am your own. I am your own Till the day that you will come Jesus, I am your own I am your own I am your own Till the day that you will come Jesus, I am your own Why closing our eyes? You want to surrender your life to Jesus? Or you want to rededicate your life? You've given your life because you are backslidden. Or you know you are committing one sin or the other. Let's close our eyes. You, you have to raise your hand wherever you are and say, Lord, I am your own. Wherever you are, can you raise up your hand? I am your own. Till the day that you will come. Jesus, I am your own. If you are here, you want to surrender your life to Jesus, can you please raise up your hand wherever you are? Raise up your hand wherever you are. Usher, attend to them. Lift up your hand to Jesus and say, I want to, I want to give my life. I want to rededicate my life to you. I want to surrender my life to you. You want to say, Jesus, I am your home. Till the day that you will come. Jesus, I am your home. I am your home. I am your own Till the day that you will come Jesus, I am your own I am your own You can begin to come forward if you are already raising your hand I am your own If you are with our card, can you please come forward Jesus wants to touch you specially The rest of us, please, let's take the song I am your own If you want to join there, you can still join I am your home till the day that you will come. Jesus, it's not too late. God of science and wonder want to visit you. Tell him you are his own. I am your home till the day that you will come. If you are holding our card, can you please come forward? I am your own. I am your own. yet for Jesus or you are backslidden or you are committing one sin or the other please come and join them come and join them I am your home I am your home till the day that you will come 
come. Jesus, I am yours. Those of you outside begin to tell God that I, am, I belong to you, Jesus. Till the day you will come back to meet us, to take us home in glory. I want to be yours. I want to surrender my life to you. I've come to surrender my life to you. Keep me to the hand that I will not go back. I surrender my life to you today. I want to be with you till the end of life. I don't want to return back to my sin. Till you will come, I am your home. Tell Jesus, tell him. He's the God of signs and wonders. And you begin to see the good and mighty things that will be happening in your life. Because I will be praying for you. You begin to see miracles that you are not expecting. Those you are expecting will begin to come. And those you are not expecting, you begin to receive them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I accept, me, I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I will never go back again. I will serve you all the days of my life. And as I begin to serve you now, let signs and wonders begin to follow me until I meet you in glory. And people begin to call my name signs and wonders because I have surrendered my life to you. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this set of signs and wonder people. They have given their life to you. Let from today, let their life begin to manifest signs and wonders in Jesus' name. That people will look at them and say, because of you, I will follow your God. Because you turn to Christ, these things are happening to you. From today, I will follow your God. So shall it be for them. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please, I pray for you. Look at my sister holding cancel in here. I prayed for you. Don't worry about it. Your case is settled. Whatever she asks you, please give it to her. We want to know more about you. We want to be praying for you. And you begin to receive good things you are not even expecting. And the one you are expecting in Jesus' name. God bless you. Can you please follow? Let's clap for Jesus as they go. <laughs> celebrate them. Celebrate them. These are the new people in the kingdom. Sorry. Follow that up. You will come back. Just one minute. Just one minute. The new sets of signs and wonders. Because they are going to manifest signs and wonders in Jesus' name. The rest of us, because of my time, you are expecting something before the end of this month. Can you come out? You are expecting something. I'm not talking about everybody. There's something you are expecting before the end of this month. Be sincere with yourself. You are expecting something before the end of this month. Even those of you that are going, that are giving your life to Christ, whatever you are expecting before the end of this month, you are part of them, you will get it. Ah, uh ah, -uh, kilo day. I say you are expecting something before the end of this month. You see everybody? Okay. Lift up your hands. I want you to take that song. That your situation cannot resist this song. You are telling Jesus, I am your own. You are going to do something in my life. I am your own. I am your own. Till the day that you will come. Jesus, I am your own. I am your own. I am your own. Our father and our God, because these ones have claimed that they are your children. And you said that meat is, uh, 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 the miracles are the children's meat. Signs and wonders are our mandates. They are our design, divine mandates. You have written it in your book that you respect your word more than your name. Because you have said this concerning these ones and all of us this month. That we are for signs and wonders. That thing they are expecting before the end of this month. Father, let them receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Raise up your hand and say, let them receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let them receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. 
Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in Jesus' name. Congratulate your neighbor. Don't shake them because of uh, wisdom. Just say congratulations. Congratulations. I should go back to your seat. Say congratulations. Congratulations. You will all come here to testify. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we have heard your word and we have believed your word because you said this month is for signs and wonders. Let all of us come here to testify of what you have done in the name of Jesus. We seal all our blessings with the blood of Jesus. The devil will not be able to steal it from us. In the name of Jesus, it shall be permanent. Let the one that is for signs and wonders shout hallelujah.